Ripley, Grau Margot. Ireland is proud of its place in the world, a nation almost alone in Europe since the first formation of its nationhood, has owned no slaves, colonised no land and avoided no people. But this is only half our story. Ireland has a great shame that it denies, a great stain on its nation's character, and it is the grave mistreatment of a small but significant population of Irish people who are members of the traveller community. Travellers are a group which it is felt by a large portion of the population are an acceptable target for hatred, derision, slurs and discrimination. The slurs directed at the traveller community are as commonplace among all sections of Irish society as the N-word would have been in white circles of 60s Mississippi. This casual hatred, which is no different from racism, despite that these are Irish people, albeit a unique ethnicity infects our culture and, although passive in most, gives cover, comfort and inspiration to those who wish to do physical harm. On Sunday night, it would seem, these cowards filled with hatred set out to burn to the ground a home allocated to a family with ten children. They did so having failed to, by fear, force Donegal County Council to refuse to house the family purely because they were travellers. I commend Donegal County Council, as I do other councils such as that in Kilkenny, who did not bend to pressure in attending to the housing rights of citizens. They did this heinous act in the atmosphere of comments by two councillors in the area, which could only be branded as anti-traveller and racist. Sean McAniff, who said that travellers could be sent to Spike Island, responded to the arson attack this week by saying travellers should be housed in isolation, or as he put it, segregated. Eugene Dolan, another local councillor, backed up um, McIniff, so far, no actions of censor have been taken against these people who are supposed to be leaders in their community Thank and you. represent two of the parties in this House. Leader Micheál Martin should have taken action. It is shameful that Micheál Martin and our Taoiseach didn't take action. We have also had cases of judges Thanks, saying Stephanie. horrible... Time. Yeah, I'll just finish. I'll come back to you finishing uh, horrible derogatory things like referring to members of the travelling community in open court as the, as the K-word. I say K-word because I believe the use of this word as prerogative towards travellers is not less heinous than the use of the N-word. Thank you. Minister. Thank you very much, Concorda. I'd like to thank Deputy McGrath and Deputy Ellis and I'd like to raise this matter and speak on behalf of Minister uh, Shatter, uh, who was unable to be present to other business commitments this evening. The shocking incident in which the, a house in Park Hill, Barry Shannon, was destroyed by fire in the early hours of Monday, the 11th of February, is of great concern to the Minister and I have no doubt is to all, all of us in this house. The Minister understands that the, uh, the house was completely engulfed by flames and that the Gardaí had to evacuate a number of other houses in the vicinity. Thankfully, it appears that no one was injured, but the incident clearly has the potential for a had, a, a, had the, the potential for a tragic and possibly fatal outcome. The Minister would like to, to pay tribute to the Gardaí and the fire services personnel who responded very effectively to the, this emergency uh, incident. The Minister is well aware of the suggestion uh, that the fire may have been started deliberately and that it may be in the, a result of a, an anti-traveller attack. Needless to say, the Minister and the Government uh, would condemn any such acts without, uh, without reservation and anyone motivated by discriminatory and racist attitudes should be aware that an illegal action uh, will be met with the full force of the law. The current position is that the, the incident is under investigation by Angarda Siakana. I am sure deputies will appreciate that it would, not be it would be inappropriate to comment in any more detail on the progress of the investigation. We need to allow the Gardaí the space and time to do their job. In any event, the Gardaí investigation indicates that the fire was a result of a criminal act. Of a, a criminal act. The Minister uh, has every confidence that the matter will be pursued by the Gardaí in a thorough and fully professional manner. On behalf of the Minister, I would appeal to anyone who has any information which might be of assistance to the Garda to come forward. Uh, the commitment of Angarda Siakana uh, to tackle a uh, racially motivated crime is underlined by the work of the Garda uh, Racial uh, in, in Intercultural and Diversity Office, uh, that's the GRIDO, whose uh, services are available to any person who believes a crime to be motivated by discriminatory or racist uh, attitudes. 
In, in, in such cases, the, uh, the, the, this office will assist victims as well as investigating Garda uh, to ensure uh, that the incident uh, receives the appropriate attention. Uh, the GRIDO, uh, which also monitors crimes which have a racist motivation on a constant basis as to ensure that all such crimes are properly recorded and investigated. The Minister is aware, of course, that issues relating to the accommodation of travellers have been brought into, into this discussion, and travellers in Ireland have the same civil and political rights as other citizens under the Constitution, including in terms of access to public services such as local authority accommodation. All the protections afforded to ethnic minorities in the EU directives and international conventions apply to travellers because the Irish legislation given effect to these international instruments, such as the Equality Acts, the Unfair Dismissal Acts, the, Pro the Prohibition of uh, Incitement to Hatred Act, uh, explicitly protects, protects travellers. And government policy in relation to the accommodation of travellers is implemented through the Housing Traveller Accommodation Act 1998. All relevant local authorities are obliged under the Act to adopt and implement multi-annual traveller accommodation programmes with the aim of improving the rate of provision of accommodation for travellers. Significant funding has been made available to, for the provision of traveller-specific accommodation over, ma over many years. In conclusion, the Minister would like to, uh, to assure the deputies that there is no question of this Government entertain any suggestion that travellers uh, should be regarded as anything less than equal participants in modern Irish society. Thank you. Deputy McGrath. One minute. Minute. One minute yeah. uh, just going to say, first of all, Minister, in your, in, in your concluding remarks there, you said there is no question of the Government entertaining any suggestion that travellers should be regarded as anything less than equal participants in modern Irish society. Many of the travellers that I talk to and deal with every day feel that is not the case, that people do not take them seriously when these issues are raised. The next question I'd like to ask you is, in relation to action being taken, three other houses have been burned down, houses belong to traveller families and people who are genuinely on the, ho on the housing list, and no, nobody has been charged yet in relation to these three uh, horrendous crimes. So I would just ask the Minister to ensure that this action is taken uh, uh, the, uh, to protect these families and to protect the rights of these citizens. Also, the other issue that, which I want to ask the Minister is, I want you, uh, to ask you, Minister, will your party take action in relation to some of your local uh, councillors there that have been involved in stirring up the issue as well, that has led to some of these attacks. There's no point in washing your hands about this issue. People are stirring Thank it up, you. and then other people, misguided people, get involved in acts of violence, and which is totally, un totally unacceptable. Thank, Thank you, you Concordia. Deputy Ellis, one minute. Thank you. Minister, racism should be viewed in the same way as an incident like this. What happened to residents that were walking home in my own area to a refugee centre there just recently. On four different occasions, cars drove by them and threw objects at them. This is the type of things that we have that this leads on to. I'd like to ask the Minister, is there any way that we can strengthen our anti-hate uh, laws in terms of addressing this issue? And I think we, you know, we should have a full debate in this dial on travellers' issues, and we should put aside a time and a place to do this. And when it comes to, pra travellers have their pride week every, every so often, and we should invite them in and have, and have a day, a traveller's day in the Dáil, and we should also have this debated in the Senate in the same way as, as in the House here. Thank you, I think, you know, some examples of how badly the travellers are treated, even Dublin City Council, the, the maintenance bill was cut from over a million to 50,000. Now, in God's name, how could you do the maintenance for the whole of the city, for the traveller community? Thank you. There is a sheer discrimination <laughs> against travellers. And I think your leader and the leader of Fianna Fáil should take action against these people who have made these remarks Thanks, and councillors. It is unacceptable. And I've heard it in there this house. Deputy. Sorry, I just have to say, I've heard it in this house. Uh, deputy, you're over time. I have to cut you off. Please. The Minister, I wish to thank the deputies once again for raising this matter and for the views which they have expressed. I will certainly pass on the points made by the, the deputies to, to the Minister Shatter, who will deal directly with it. Uh, I think the Minister would like to reiterate that the Garda authorities will pursue any evidence that points to a criminal act. We are all aware that the incident in Baddy Shannon uh, could have resulted in great loss of life. 
there's someone out there who may have started the fire deliberately, then clearly there is an obligation on anyone with information on this matter to provide that directly to the Angardi. Un in relation to the existing legal protection for members of the, of the, uh, the traveller community, it's important to put this, say this again. The key anti-discrimination measures, the, the Incitement to Hatred Act 1989, the Unfair Dismissal Act 1997, the Employment Equality Act and the Equality uh, Status Act specifically identify travellers by name as a group protected. That is the, the law of the land. I think that all of the protections in the EU uh, racial uh, equality directive apply across all of the nine grounds contained in, le in the legislation, including the respect, uh, with respect to the traveller community. In conclusion, the Minister wishes to reaffirm that the discriminatory and racist attitudes have no place in a modern civilised society. It can't be more clear than that, and that is uh, without very clear in this matter. The law of the land applies equally to everyone, and the Minister is assured that Gardaí will pursue all illegal acts with vigour and professionalism. Be assured.